Okay guys, today I want to show you how to gap your spark plugs. Now, gapping your spark plugs ex is something extremely simple that you can do yourself, but that is uh, essential for your engine to achieve proper combustion. Now, uh, in order to gap your spark plugs, you are just going to need one tool and your spark plugs. If you start shopping around for spark plug gapping tools, you will notice that there are essentially three types of spark plug gapping tools. Now, the first one is that you will notice, and it's probably the cheapest one, is the coin style spark plug gapping tool. Now, uh, I myself and many other spark plug manufacturers do not recommend the usage of this uh, coin style gapping tool because uh, the way it's used, it can easily damage the electrodes on the spark plug. And especially if you're using uh, fine wire spark plugs, which are used by many modern engines today, you can easily break off, break off the tip and basically render the spark plug useless. So uh, coin style spark plug gapping tools, definitely a no. Uh, the next style that is, uh, that is good that you can use, that is, that is also probably just as cheap as the, as the coin style tool is this uh, wire style gapping tool. It is, it is equally very simple to use and you can find it for anywhere from two, three, five dollars almost anywhere. Uh, the third type is the uh, feeler gauge style gapping tool which is also good. It's a bit more expensive and probably more suited for somebody who's, who's working with spark plugs and, or a professional mechanic or whoever does spark plug gapping probably on a daily basis. For the average car enthusiast, the, this type of wire style tool is is definitely okay. Another thing, another uh, thing that you need to know before gapping spark plugs is that uh, most manufacturers, both car manufacturers and spark plug manufacturers, do not recommend gapping used spark plugs. Uh, I have heard of people, you know, gapping used spark plugs and never having any issues. But if you want to stay on the safe side, you know, you can definitely go ahead and check your used ones, and if the, if the gap is isn't correct. Uh, I recommend buying a set of new uh, spark plugs and gapping gapping those. Okay, now let's proceed to the to the actual procedure of, of how you gap the spark plug. Gapping the spark plug is extremely simple. The first thing you need to know is is the the specifications, actually the size of your spark plug gap. To know that, you need to uh, consult your service manual. Once you know uh, your spark plug gap. All you do is you use these measurements on the tool. You have, you have them both in inches and in millimeters. And once you know the size, you use the, you use the gauge and you insert it carefully and gently between the electrodes and adjust accordingly. Now, for example, let's imagine this spark plug needs to be gapped at 1.2 millimeters, as you can see. This fits just right and it's perfect. But for example, if the gap would need to be 1.52 millimeters, you can see that that does not fit. Now adjusting the gap is done by these, these parts of the tool. Adjusting is again very simple. You insert it here and you simply bend the electrode to open the gap. And as you can see, we can now use the 1.52 gauge, which fits neatly inside the, between the electrodes. If you need to reduce the gap, reducing the gap is even, is even simpler. You simply press gently onto the tool and reduce the gap. Now, for my engine, my 4AG 16 valve engine, the gap that I need is actually 1.10 millimeters. Now, if you take a look at the measurements on my gapping tool, you will notice that actually there, there is no measurement for 1.10 millimeters. Now, in that case, what we are going to do is we are going to get a set of feeler gauges and use the appropriate gauges and insert them between the electrodes to make sure that the gap achieved is actually 1.10 millimeters. Uh, another important thing to add is that in case you have modified your engine, 
and increase its horsepower output, you actually need to reduce your spark plug gap. Now, why do you need to reduce? <coughs> because, for example, if you increase the compression of your engine or add a turbocharger or a supercharger, the air-fuel mixture inside your combustion chamber becomes denser. And the smaller spark plug gap is needed to ensure ignitability of such a dense air-fuel mixture. Now, as a very general rule of thumb, you need to decrease the spark plug gap by 0.004 inches, which is 0.1 millimeters, for every 50 horsepower you add to the engine. So, that's pretty much it when it comes to gapping spark plugs. Definitely a very simple procedure that's going to ensure your engine is running at its optimum performance level. So, thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and see ya!